Hey everyone, my name is Kendall and I'm coming to you live from the American Heart Association headquarters. I'm so excited to be here with your school today because today is a really special day. Today your school is joining thousands of schools across the country and kicking off for our really fun program, Kids Heart Challenge. Before we get started, we actually need the room to be divided into two different sections. One side is going to be Team Heart and the other side is going to be Team Hero. If you haven't done this already, we'll take a short break so that you can do that now. Did you know the blood only takes about 20 seconds to circulate through your entire body? That means by the time you watch this, all of the blood in your body has already coursed through all the veins and arteries. That's pretty cool, huh? Great job. Now that we're in two different sections, we're ready to get started. And students, you'll hear a little bit more about this in just a little bit, and you'll have the opportunity to cheer for your team. For those who don't know, Kids Heart Challenge is a program that supports the American Heart Association. Our job at the American Heart Association is incredibly special. We get to save lives every single day, kind of like superheroes. And by participating in Kids Heart Challenge at your school, you can be a superhero too and help us save lives. Our job together is going to be making sure that you have a happy and healthy heart. Did you know that your heart is the most important muscle in your entire body? Superheroes certainly take care of their hearts and we need to take care of our hearts too. Some of the ways that we can take care of our hearts are eating fruits and veggies with every single meal, making sure that we get 60 minutes of exercise every single day, and also always saying no to smoking and vaping. Now it's also really important that we keep our hearts happy. A couple of ways that we can do that is helping others out, being kind, or making sure that we're prepared and ready for every single day. I have some special friends, the heart heroes, that are here to meet you today. They are going to be taking over your school throughout the entire Kids Heart Challenge event, and they're ready to meet you. Are you guys ready? Here they are. Meet the newest members of the Hartsville Heroes team. First up is Sunny. Sunny enjoys being physically and mentally active. She's constantly encouraging others to move more. Next up is Nico. He's kind and thoughtful and loves carrying his joke book with him to brighten people's day. Nico says, be kind. And here's Perry. Using checklists and her signature be ready baskets, Perry has trained herself to be ready for any situation. Now let's meet Sophie. She has a passion for growing and preparing heart healthy food. Sophie says to add color. Here comes Knox. His ninja skills and boundless energy highlight how healthy his heart and lungs are. Knox says, avoid vaping and tobacco. And last but not least, here's Crush. He may be young, but he's a big heart volunteer. He encourages everyone to help others. Together, the Heart Hero team does everything they can to encourage heart healthy habits in Hartsville and beyond. Wow, the Heart Heroes are so amazing and they are going to do a great job at reminding us how to keep our hearts happy and healthy. But remember how I told you that we can be superheroes and save lives this year? Well, there are some people who have special hearts. Maybe you know someone who has had a heart attack or a stroke. Maybe someone who has high blood pressure or diabetes. Well, we can help them. Or maybe you know someone who was born with a special heart. Maybe they had a hole in their heart or their heart just didn't work quite right when they were born. I want to introduce my friend Alexa because she was born with a special heart and she's going to talk to us about how we can help. Alexa was born in 2011. She came a little bit early, quite a surprise baby. She came at 33 weeks. She was born with a congenital heart defect. She had a, a hole in her heart and she had a missing pulmonary valve. That was a little scary at first, but we had excellent doctors that educated us on uh, the condition. Before she turned one, she had her first surgery to close the hole in her heart. Then before she turned two, almost exactly a year to the date of the first surgery, she had her first open heart surgery where they went in and put in that missing pulmonary valve. And then last year in October, she had her second open heart surgery where they replaced that pulmonary valve with a new valve. There are so many children um, with heart conditions. I wasn't aware at all how many children there are that um, are affected by this. 
we've been in the hospital for uh, several different occasions for different issues that she's had. She has just been full of energy the entire time. Her heart condition has never slowed her down. I tell people to drink lots of water and fluids and um, exercise every day. Because if you don't have a healthy heart, that's really bad. That's the message she really wants to get across to other kids. Alexa is such an incredible heart hero. And through Kids Heart Challenge, we'll get to save lives and help kids just like Alexa. So now that we're kicking off today, everyone will be getting a donation envelope that looks like this. Everything that you need to know about Kids Heart Challenge is on this envelope. So tonight, when you get home, I want you to show your mom or your dad or the adult that you live with this envelope. Talk to them about how you want to have a happy and healthy heart and also how you would like to help us save lives, just like Alexa's. I want you to find Alexa's picture and right next to her story, we'll have step one, step two, and step three. First, you'll want to hop online. You can do this from a computer or you can download our super awesome Kids Heart Challenge app. Once you sign up online, you'll take the Kids Heart Challenge. And so you can choose between to move more, be ready, or be kind. Once you take your challenge, the next day you will be able to get your awesome wristband. Once you've taken your challenge, it's now time to start raising donations. You can do this online or you can do this through your envelope. If you choose to do it online, make sure to send messages, send emails, post to Facebook and social media, and ask all of your friends and family to help save people with special hearts. Make sure to go through your list of people that you're asking with your mom or dad or the adult that you live with. If you choose to do it in your envelope, there's actually a pocket and you can put in cash and check right in this pocket. Make sure to store it in a safe place and bring it in on the due date to your teacher. The more donations that we raise, the more lives that we get to save, which is the most important part about Kids Heart Challenge. But another fun part about Kids Heart Challenge is we also get to earn some really cool thank you gifts along the way for being such an amazing heart hero. So on the back of your envelope, you will see all of the thank you gifts that you can earn after Kids Heart Challenge is over. But what's really exciting is you can start earning some of your thank you gifts right now. So remember, some of them on the back of your envelope are going to come after Kids Heart Challenge is over. That's going to be like your jump rope, your t-shirt like the one that I'm wearing right now, your kickball and some other fun items but all of the heart heroes that you'll see on the back of your envelope are here right now. And as a bonus, if you earn your donations online, you can receive all of them if you hit that amount. And so don't forget to sign up online or download our Kids Heart Challenge app in the App Store. For your first $5 donation, you can earn Perry, and Perry reminds us to be ready. For $10, you can earn Knox, and Knox reminds us to always say no to smoking and vaping. For $25, you can earn Nico, and Nico reminds us to be kind. For $40, you can earn Sophie, and Sophie reminds us to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. For $100, you can earn Crush, and Crush reminds us to help others, and that's exactly what we're doing through Kids Heart Challenge. And if you raise $200, Wow, you are an incredible heart hero. But if you raise that amount, then you will earn Sunny. And Sunny reminds us to move more and be active. And now, what you've all been waiting for, how to bring your heroes to life. Simply click Games, and you'll see everything that can come to life. Under My Arcade, click on the camera icon and scan your heart heroes using the view marks on the characters. Every character has a coloring sheet under the Games tab. Click on Color AR to scan all coloring pages and download more PDFs. Watch it come to life as you color. First donation? Oh, what an accomplishment! Nice job! If you register, then get donations, you'll earn new Heart Hero gifts that can come to life too. And now we have a really special message from our friend Finn. If you did Kids Heart Challenge at your school last year, you probably remember Finn. And if you didn't do Kids Heart Challenge, that's okay too. He's here to challenge you to hop online and to complete his mission. Your event is coming up so soon and we want you to get involved. You're raising necessary heart funds to help kids like Finn. So download the app or use the website and earn the Finn Heart Hero, who was named for this little guy right here. Have fun and we hope you have an amazing event. We are so proud of you. Can you say thank you? Thank you.
Join your school's online team to complete Finn's missions. If you complete all 10 of Finn's missions, you will earn your own Finn character to put on your wristband. Thank you, Finn. I hope everyone is excited to get online and help complete his mission. Now, remember when I had the room split into two different sections? Well, now our characters are going to battle it out in a ninja warrior style competition, and we need you to cheer your team to victory. Now, it's really important that when our announcers, Jake and Emily, are on the screen, that everyone freezes and gets really quiet. So that way we can hear who won the point, and then we can move on to the next section. Are you guys ready to cheer on your team? Hello everyone and welcome to the Kids Heart Challenge. I'm Jake Banter along with Emily Quips and it's a beautiful day here at Hartsville Stadium. That's right Jake, members of Team Heart and Team Hero should be making their entrance any second now. They'll be taking on one another in a series of challenges designed to promote heart health. And we're so excited you are here today to help power our heart heroes. You'll be using motions to help power your team to victory. So make sure you do them with as much energy as possible. Your AHA representatives will be showing you what to do too. And there's the plan now, Emily. First out is Sunny for Team Heart. Sunny enjoys being physically and mentally active. She's constantly encouraging others to move more. Next for Team Heart is Nico, who's kind and thoughtful and loves telling jokes and being a superhero who brightens people's days. Be kind. And here's the most ready member of Team Heart, Perry, with her checklist and signature, Be Ready Baskets. Be ready. Now let's meet Team Heroes, starting with Sophie. She has a passion for growing and preparing healthy foods. Ayatollah! Right behind Sophie, here's Knox. His ninja skills highlight how healthy his heart and lungs are. No vaping or tobacco! And last but not least, here's Crush. He may be the youngest, but he's a big hard volunteer, encouraging everyone he meets to help others! You said it, Crush. You might even say, he crushed it. You might say that, Jacob. But that horn says it's time for our first event. That's right, Emily. The wall portion of our competition looks tough. Who will be the first to the top? Remember, you can help power your team to victory by doing moves to send energy their way. Use this climbing motion to help power them up. Just move your hands up and down like you're climbing. Keep doing it as long as the energy meter is on the screen. And there they go. Both climbers are getting lots of energy from their fans. But Crush's climbing technique is helping him out here. Sure is, Emily. By using the hand holes and the notches, he's able to climb with his hands and feet. That decision is going to put him over the top, Jake. Wow. What an amazing finish. Now, let's check it out the stage where the dance-off is about to begin. Sunny is representing Team Heart while Knox takes the stage for Team Heroes. And once again, you need to fuel their energy meters. So do your best seated dance move to power them up as soon as you see the meter. Both of them are starting out really strong. And Knox with a strong dab there. And are those martial arts moves? A little unorthodox, Jake, but still a powerful combination. Sunny gets a burst of energy from her fans and finishes strong. Let's check the final score. First up, we have Knox. Who gets a nine? Wow. And now for Sunny. It looks like, wow, it's a 9.5. Victory for Sunny and Team Heart. And she celebrates by doing a cartwheel. Cartwheel? More like heart wheel, wouldn't you say? I would not, Jake. And that ties the scores. It's Team Heart 1 and Team Heroes 1 as we head to the lightning round. That's right, Emily. And a surprise twist. Two events will be performed back to back without changing players. That means Sophie from Team Heroes and Perry from Team Heart will each have to shoot hoops and jump rope for their team. Remember to help your team by feeding their energy meter. Just move your hands like you're shooting a basket. Crucial miss by Sophie there. Uh oh. And it looks like Perry's gonna give Team Heart the lead. Indeed she has. But there is no time to rest in this test of endurance. It's straight to the jump rope. To power your team, twirl your wrists like you're swinging a jump rope. Sophie's energy has peaked 
Just at the right time. She looks very comfortable. Must be all that healthy eating, Jake. You're probably right, Emily. Oh, Perry stumbled just a bit and lost her focus. Sophie wants to jump for a portion for Team Heroes. And we are all tied up at two. It all comes down to the last event, the race to the Kids Heart Challenge app. You said it, Jake. All contestants will have to participate in this final challenge. There are three stages that each team must complete. Choose a device, search for the Kids Heart Challenge app, and download the app. Our first two challengers are ready. Remember, this is a race, so you can help hire your team by stomping your feet as fast as you can. The meters are up, start running. Crush brought a skateboard with them? Oh, this could be over quickly, Em. But look, Nico has secret skates. Crush is approaching the table now. And it looks like he's going for the phone. He's got it. But now here's Nico grabbing the tablet. As they hand off their devices to their teammates, it's neck and neck. Now both teams have to find the app. It looks like Sunny is searching Kids Heart Challenge. There's the logo. She's found it. But Knox seems to be asking his mom in the stands for help. Can't he do that? Of course he can, Jake. All younger students should consult with their parents before downloading an app. Knox's mom is typing in Kids Heart Challenge for him. But Perry's already tapping Download app. The download starts in... Oh, no! There's not enough power left. Whoa, that's bad luck for Team Heart because Knox passed the phone to Sophie. Team Hero's downloading. But Perry has a charger that fits. Team Heart's downloading resumed. It looks like it's going to be... It's a tie! How exciting was that? That really got my heart racing. No matter which device you use or which activity you choose, everyone who downloads Kids Heart Challenge app is a winner. If you want to help kids with special hearts, go home tonight and join the challenge. Get started by downloading the Kids Heart Challenge app. I'm Jake Banter. And I'm Emily Quips. And this is Kids Heart Challenge. It's a tie, but we can't let it end in a tie. The way that we're going to do the tiebreaker is tonight when you get home and you get online, it's going to ask you Team Heart or Team Hero. So make sure to put what team you are on and we're going to keep track of how many Heart Heroes are on each team. And so Team Heart, do you think it's going to be you? Yeah! Team Hero, do you think it's going to be you? Yeah! All right, well I cannot wait to see which team wins the tiebreaker. So don't forget, show this envelope tonight to your mom, dad, or the adult that you live with. And you'll also want to show them your Nico sticker. Remember, the only way that you can earn this awesome wristband is by going online, joining your school's team, and taking the challenge. So once you get that, you can come back to school tomorrow and get your wristband. Thank you so much for participating in Kids Heart Challenge. You truly make a difference, and you are an awesome superhero in helping us save lives. Bye, Heart Heroes!